everyone. Our next guest is helping us celebrate St. Patty's Day with his mushroom and beef stuffed potato cakes. Please welcome back our good friend, celebrity chef Stuart O'Keefe. Welcome, Stuart. Well, we had to have you here for St. Patrick's Day. Of course. It's what, seven years running now? It's seven years running. I'm impressed she said Patty's Day, not Patty's Day. Oh. Oh, Why? My. Everybody mixes that up. Did they say Patty's they Day? See, they see two T's. I don't know. It's right. like, it's Patty's. Like, Patty's. Patty's. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Way to go, Deb. So Way to glad go. I did that for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, joining Cam at the counter is our very good friend, Bob Gunya from Position Mutual. We're going to you in just a little bit. So happy to have you here, Bob, you. and of course Kimmy. Kimmy is is Irish, <laughs> Scottish, Scottish. Oh. <laughs> I have my same. kilt. I'm, I'm wearing my kilt. He's <laughs> Scottish. I meant not Irish, but your neighbors. Yeah. Absolutely, right? we're, we're twins, practically. Right, we're practically <laughs> twins. Scottish, Irish. Well, we know you're oh. not Greek. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. So I, I love these potato pancakes. How did you come up with this recipe? So um, <laughs> look, growing up, my mom would like find any way to stuff something in potatoes. We would do potato croquettes all the time. And there's things called like chicken Kievs, like where I grew up, yeah. and they're like frozen things, but there's like mince meat in them. Oh. But they're really good. Like I'd have them sometimes if I was hungry. Like I would buy them. My mom wouldn't buy them. I would buy them. So I came up with doing like just mushrooms, beef, just really like good stuff that you would have like if you were doing a bolognese, but stuff it in potatoes. Nice. And I fry like them it. And wow. Sear them like yeah, two or three really minutes good. on each side, and there you go. I love it, Stuart. So we start with some mashed potatoes. So we got some mashed potatoes. They're already cold, and we have some flour in there too. Okay. Because we want to get a nice crispiness on that, All and right. we want to bind it together. So okay. the flour helps to do that. So we got some beef, and we got some onion going here. Cook it off, and now we're just going to add in some chili flakes, which I love. A nice Pretty little kick. Everything. All right. I like a kick in everything. And, you know, people think, like, Irish food, isn't it bland? I'm like, not when I'm making it. <laughs> uh, right. Lots of garlic in there. And I'm just going to add in some mushrooms. Okay. Do any specific type of mushroom? Um, just our creminis, button mushrooms, anything you can what find. Like? Chop them up really small. And then we're just going to add in about a quarter cup of beef stock. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is you want to cook it like so. You want to cook all that liquid out, okay? So just keep cooking it. It'll take about maybe eight, like, maybe like, yeah, like eight minutes is good. All right. You want to cook it down, and you want to get it okay. something like this. Okay, so eventually right. it starts to look that? like that. Yeah, it looks like that. Oh, it's like just yumminess Almost in the bowl. Like I can just so eat that tasty. with a spoon yeah, right it's there, delicious. right? Delicious. So good. So, so now good. we build the pancake. It? Yeah. it melts in your Almost mouth. Almost done. So, soft. Bob, are you Kim's, doing anything Kim's special? Slow down. I, mean, I know. Sorry. Are you doing anything special for St. Patty's? We have a big Irish Fest celebration this Saturday. So, oh. a fundraiser for Catholic Charities, big deal. So, oh. a lot of celebration. So, so you'll be serving. Yeah. yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. This is really good. Cool. And this is great as well. Look, if okay. it's even if it's not St. Patrick's Day, like you're having a few friends over, you could make these the day before and put them in your freezer. Make little small mini ones. Oh, if nice. you want to it's do like it with bowls, you could do. Idea. Yeah. So the, we got one, and I'm just going to add the top of it. So I like to roll it, then okay. flatten it. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna pop it Make on it like top here. Like a little here. sandwich. Exactly. So cute. There you go. And, and you crimp it together. The size, that's all you gotta do. Then how long do we put these on okay. the stovetop for? So that's one made right there. So these okay. are gonna be. I have some frying over here, and um, it's gonna flip. So about. Oh, look I would that. say about like okay. three minutes each side. That's it, huh? You want to get them nice and crispy like that yeah, because look, no. end of the day, everything's cooked. Here first, right. so it's not as if we have to. And the potatoes cooked. already cooked. Yeah. That's right. They're so like mini get... shepherd pies. Yes. Mm. There you right? go. Right. And it's like uh, the way I like it, like to see it is like it's a one, like complete like little meal on a plate. Mm -hmm. So everything is usually like separate. Super yummy. Like meat and potatoes in Ireland, and um, so. It's just nice to kind of have everything in one thing, and like now, two of these would be a good serving. It's we know what Bob's oh. doing on uh, St. Patty's Day, as we say properly. We'd love to know what you're doing. What are your plans? So I'm going to Chicago this year. Oh, oh they make okay. the river green. The I know, I'm going to see that on Saturday. I believe that's when they turn it green. And um, yeah, there's like a ceremony or something like that. I'm attending that and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never been to Chicago on St. Patrick's Day, oh, but I hear yeah. they do it up really well. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Right. You've been in New York a lot on St. Patrick's Day. New York a lot. Like um, my, my aunt works at the Irish consulate there, so there's always like a party going on that she invites me to when the parade is there. Oh, how fun. So it's nice for a change. Oh, Chicago is going to be really fun. It might be very cold. But it's yeah, going to be fun. No, if the river's no. not frozen. That's true. <laughs> I know my friend Jason was saying that, like, good luck, good luck in Chicago. It's going to be 80 here this weekend. I'm like, <laughs> well. I'm like, now, what oh. do we have on top there? So yeah. we got some uh, some fennel. And um, you would add the fennel in here okay. as well. I was chatting, got sight. And we forgot because, so we, you know. So after you're done with this cooking, 
You would add in the fennel, mix it around, okay. and then let it cool, and then it's in there as well. Yummy. Okay, should we try? Yes. Super good. Have yeah. a little so taste wait, is this that. the second or third time that you're not back, back for St. Patty's Day, back home? I haven't been in a while. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's insane when you go home to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. It's, it's wild. Like the streets are littered with people, like in a good way. They're having a good yeah. time. They're boozing it up. Um, <laughs> they're happy. Family. They're not working. Is everything they're, green? <laughs> everything is green. Like they go, they, we don't do green beer, though. Oh, like we do We just drink it. Beer, beer is too sacred in Ireland. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Delicious, right, Deb? Mm. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, so, so, so good. good. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Have a good time Full recipe is available at HallmarkChannel.com. And for more delicious dishes from Stuart, visit tastybites.net.